Hello, welcome to my channel, The Aria Lifestyle. And in today's video, we are going to be dressing our table in a minimalist way. I've been noticing um, the minimalist style and I thought I would try dressing my table in a minimalist way today. You can let me know how I did at the end of this video. And if you're here for the first time and you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. This is the Aria Lifestyle. Here we have videos every Tuesdays and Fridays and the videos are home decor, you know, cooking, anything that happens in the home, lifestyle. We have beauty videos, fitness videos, as well as fashion. So make yourself at home here on the Aria Lifestyle. And I hope even if you have not yet subscribed, yeah, you will consider subscribing by the end of this video. Now this video is a weekly collaboration put on by the ladies of elegance grace life diy and home decor and amethyst adventures go over to their channels guys and show them some love subscribe to them you know perhaps comment like their tablescape for this week so i am going to go ahead and dress this table i will try to explain as i go along but stay with me for the ride and let's dress this minimalist table As I said, I'm going to be doing a minimalist table today and I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible and as natural as possible. So I'm just using my go-to, which is my farmhouse style runner. And that's gonna be my foundation. And what I'll be doing today is using as much natural and whites and creams as I possibly can. I am using the light browns. Um, this is not very easy for me because typically I like to have a pop of color and I'm trying to do the opposite with this minimalist style today. So just watch me as I go along. I'm at the far end of the table. When I get to this side, I will show you the place setting. Okay, so the place settings I'm gonna start with a jute placemat and I'm turning it in a vertical way because I'm going to use it as something to give the illusion of a perpendicular runner to the regular runner in the center of the table. And then I'm gonna use my placemat that I got from Walmart, natural beiges. And then I'm going to put on there this beautiful charger that I got from Hobby Lobby and it was on sale for $1.99. I was very proud of myself to have gotten that. And here's my Goodwill find the Old Faithful. I've been using this um, several times on my tablescape because it's so neutral and flexible. And here goes a round cream plate that I got from Walmart sometime back in a whole set. And next up I I'm placing these nice side plates with this beautiful texturing around the sides that I got from the Dollar General. Thought it was so beautiful. And then I'm going to be using a square bowl that I got from Walmart. And on top, I'm going to be using the Going to be using this napkin that has a natural cream as well and I'm using I'm also using what looks somewhat like pompous grass but it's not pompous grass it has like a wheat 
kind of finish to it it's beautiful i got it from hobby lobby and i'm coupling that with my cream napkins that i got from walmart and of course the napkin holder that i also got from walmart and all these fall into the nice simple natural minimalist feel I don't know what you guys think, but I interpret minimalist as being a simple farmhouse. Here I have these um, natural feel basket kind of, um, it's, I think it's called a liner for a planter and I'm using it as part of my decor today to give that natural feel. Um, putting it I turned over the edges over a bowl and I'm using another bowl upside down to give it a pedestal height just give it a little bit of a height off the base of the runner so that's part of my simple decor today For this simple table, I'm going to be interpreting it from a breakfast perspective. So I'm using another of those side plates with a beautiful texturing at the edges. I'm using those as saucers with coffee mugs as the drinking part of my table setting. Okay, so as I was saying, I I connect the minimalist feel with the farmhouse feel to a simpler extent and I don't know if you agree but for now that's where I'm at and I'm using these farmhouse white painted upscaled or what do you call now upcycled bottle and a simple planter container vase I'm using those that are painted in this farmhouse white and I'm also using my white candle holders that I got from Dollar General and here I'm using a Goodwill find of a vase beautiful shape that I had painted a farmhouse white before and these items I borrowed from my far farmhouse themed laundry room and I have placed some dried plant that I got from Hobby Lobby. I just love the natural colors of it. It just reminds me of the greenery outside that sometimes borders into the yellows and browns, you know, like a burnt out green. So I really liked that and I thought I would make it be the some kind of pop in the center of my tablescape today. So guys, you notice I have those flowers. I was indecisive and I decided not to use them. I wanted to try to keep it as simple as possible, which is not very easy um, when you have different kind of stylings that you're used to, but I had fun doing this one. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you so much for joining me today on Tablescape Tuesdays and it was a pleasure having you share this tablescape with me today i hope i inspired you to create your own tablescape and to even be a part of the tablescape tuesday series 
if you are not already subscribed to my channel i ask please subscribe to the aria lifestyle love you guys peace out stay tuned for the reveal